Hi everyone, it's Dennis here and I'm back with another interesting math problem. I hope you like it. So it goes, a spider has one sock and one shoe for each of its eight legs. So I've got a little spider here and it has one sock and one shoe for each of its eight legs. And the question here is we want to find out in how many different orders can the spider put on its socks and shoes. There's a condition assuming that on each leg, so on each leg, the sock must be put on before the shoe. All right, so we have some answers here. You can pause the video, uh, give it a try, and then come back watch my solution. All right, let's get started. So I'll begin by introducing a notation here. I'm going to let AK and BK to denote... I'm going to let AK and BK to denote the sock and shoe... Uh, for any given leg, let's call it K. And of course, for this problem, we know that K is between 1 and 8 because we have 8 legs for this spider. And we also know, so this is just some important note, we also know that AK precedes BK because according to the problem here, we are saying, we are assuming that on each leg, so for all values of k, the sock must be put on before the shoe. So ak precedes bk for all k, for all values of k. All right, so let's proceed from here. Now, looking at this information, we have eight socks and eight shoes. We can say that a possible arrangement, so a possible arrangement of the eight socks possible arrangement of the eight socks and eight shoes is the permutation is the permutation of these 16 objects and what 16 objects are we talking about here i'll just list them for you here so we have a1 b1 because uh, ak must precede bk it comes before bk then we have A2, B2, and this goes all the way up to A8, B8. So in mathematics, we know that if we want to find the number of arrangements, we can simply uh, find how many uh, permutations are there in a given number of objects. Here we are talking about linear arrangements, of course. So the possible arrangement of these eight socks and shoes without any restriction is going to be the permutation of these 16 objects which is, of course, going to be, let's just use another color here. This is going to be, these are 16 objects, so the number of permutations is going to be 16 factorial, okay? All right, so it is also important to see here, so I'll say also, A1 precedes, A1 precedes B1 in exactly, in exactly half of these. So I now come to the restriction here. Remember we are assuming that the sock has to be put on before the shoe on each leg. So because of that restriction of A1 preceding B1 or AK preceding BK, uh, particularly for A1, it's going to precede B1 in exactly half of these, which is going to be 16 factorial times one half. So that's going to be 16 factorial divided by two. Okay, similarly, we can do this for A2, just create more space here. So similarly, similarly, A2 precedes, precedes B2 in exactly half of those, which is going to be, what's that? 16 factorial divided by 2. Uh, times one half, which is 16 factorial over two squared. So let me just move down here. So continuing, if we continue doing this for all the way up to A8, we can see that um, AK precedes BK. Uh, AK precedes BK, of course, for all K, which is this K between 1 and 8, are uh, in exactly, 
16 factorial divided by 2 to the power 8. So coming back up here, let's see which answer is correct one. D is the correct one, 16 factorial over 2 to the power 8. So this is an interesting one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.